Hello everybody, my name is Dandy from Key Smash Studios and today I'm going to explain the basics of Mystical Agriculture, an amazing mod pack that spans across all kinds of different Minecraft mod packs and this particular mod allows you to grow resources. And I'm not just talking about weed or other food products, I'm talking about iron and copper and diamonds and any other material you can think of just about. So let's get into the very basics of that today. We're going to start off by explaining the objects that you need to start this mod. The first and easiest to find is obviously seeds. When you're farming you need seeds and all of the creative seeds are based off of these. So just grow yourself some wheat and keep those extra seeds laid to the side. Next you're going to need to go mining because you need a little something called Inferium. This is kind of a powdery green and when you find it underground it's going to have this green look to it. So keep your eye out and gather that. And then you're really going to need Prosperity Shards. Inferium you can get later through the farm, and I'll explain that shortly. But these Prosperity Shards can only be found underground. So, make sure when you get them, to keep them and hold on to them. And grab as many of them as you can. It looks kind of silvery. Once you have these, you're allowed to start working on the seeds. So like I said, the three main components are the seeds and the Inferium Essence, and then these Prosperity Shards. We'll put these to the side for now because these come a little later. First off, we're going to start by making some Inferium Seeds, which you can see I've prepared here, but I'm going to show you how to make them first. So you're going to need one seed and eight Inferium Essence to make your own Inferium Seed. Go to any crafting table or bench, put the seed in the very middle, and surround it entirely with Inferium Essence, and this will get you your first Inferium Seed. Go to any farm plot, Plant it up and wait for it to grow. These take a little while longer to grow and aren't affected by bone meal, so make sure you're aware of this and don't waste any of your bone meal. My usual preferred farming plot is 7x7 with water in the middle, making three spaces from any direction off of the water. And this is because later on there are some really efficient tools that help this be a lot better. But for now, I'm just going to leave it as a basic farm and we'll run through this. If you guys want to learn more about advancing a mystical agriculture farm, you can check out our other video or ask me to make another tutorial explaining and I'd be happy to do so. So while you're waiting for your essence to grow, you might want to make more. Essence is very, very important to this mod pack, so it doesn't hurt to make as much of it as you can right away. So again, all you need is to take the seeds and surround it with Inferium Essence, and boom, you get your Inferium Seeds. Considering the Inferium is an important part of this mod, you kind of want to start with a big crop of these and get a big backlog. Because the next thing you're going to do is make Resource Seeds. So there are stone and wood seeds displayed here, and I want to show you how to make them. These are level 1, tier 1 seeds, as you can see there, which means all you need is tier 1 Inferium Essence. So, let's say we're making stone and wood, like I have here. Take 4 stone, take 4 wood, and we'll separate them into these two paths. And this is going to be everything you need to make each seed. So you start with 1 seed each, because you need a base seed to work your way to the tier 1 seed. Each seed from tier 1, or to create the tier 1 seed, needs 4 of the Prosperity Shards. From there, you have to match your the tier with the amount of Inferium Essence. So we're going to need 4 Inferium Essence each to create the tier 1 crafting seed, and then 4 additional to fill in the gaps. And this is how it, the same formula works throughout the entire thing, which I'll explain shortly. So... You take your seed and you create a base crafting seed. That's one seed and four prosperity shards and a plus. This base crafting seed that you see right there is going to be used for creating all of your tiered seeds and eventually your resource seeds. So to get a base crafting seed to tier one, you take four inferium and make that same plus, And then you have a tier one crafting seed. Again, it's just the inferium and a plus with the base crafting seed in the middle. And now, considering the seed we're making is a tier 1 seed, and we have a tier 1 crafting seed, we're ready to go. So take your seed, take whatever material you're trying to make a seed for, and put them in the corners, and then fill in the gaps with this Inferium Essence. And just like that, we have our stone seed. This seed allows you to grow stone essence, which can be turned into all different types of stone. The same works for trees. We're trying to grow wood, so we take logs, put it in the four corners, and put the essence in the plus sign, and we get our wood seeds. And just like the seeds that we grew earlier, you simply take these seeds, come over to the farm, and plant them. 
Now, you might be wondering, is there an easy way to help these grow quicker so you don't just have to wait around? Later on, using Inferium Essence, the level 1 essence, you can make an Inferium watering can. This does not require any water to fill it up. It, are, it has unlimited water, and all you do is walk up to a seed. So we'll do this Inferium seed here, and you hold down right click. You can see those particle effects of the water jumping up, and if you look in the top left corner, you're going to see that its growth rate is increasing rapidly. So it's already grown, we've already harvested it, and we got one Inferium Essence which we can put away to use later. And the same goes for these types of seeds too. Stone, you can see, is growing more rapidly, and wood. Now these are relatively basic materials, and as I mentioned, I'm not going to get into the harder stuff, but later on you get some insane things. The Essence comes in many tiers, and the tiers are represented by color. In order, you have Inferium, Prudentium, Intermedium, Supremium, or Superium, Supremium, and then Insanium. Insanium you don't ever really use all that much, but the rest of these you have to make using Inferium in an order to go all the way up with a Master Infusion Crystal. So I'm going to take some of these iron ingots over here, and we're going to show you how that works. So say you wanted to craft an iron seed, which is very expensive. You're going to start the same way we started earlier, with just one seed and four prosperity shards. But to get all the way to iron, you need a lot more essence. So we would sit down here, and if you were doing this from scratch, you would take one of these infusion crystals, put these around it, and make the next level. And for every four, it creates one of the next level. So four Inferium makes one Prudentium. Four Prudentium makes one Intermedium. And it continues on that trend all the way through the colors, which is why this mod can take so long to work through. Because you really need a lot of this Inferium Essence to create some of the higher level seeds. But for now, I'm just going to show you how the trend continues of creating seeds all the way to the high level material. So you take your base crafting seed, make the same plus with intermedium, yet again with prudentium, and you continue making this plus all the way to the level that you need to make the seed at. So iron seeds are actually a level 5 tier 5 seed, so we need to get all the way to supremium, which is very expensive. But once you have it, you take this seed, Take your materials you want to use in your corners again, and then you put this essence down, and boom, you're going to get an iron seed. Now this is a very rare seed, but it'll grow just like all the others. And once you start to grow it, there are ways that you can spread it so that instead of having to make a seed every time, you make one and continue to use it. Some of the later game things you can use that comes from these tier 5 crafting seeds and the use of Supremium are things like the Supremium watering can. It's just like the watering can I showed you earlier, except this one covers this one single space here and helps one plant grow. And this one right here will cover an entire 9x9 nine nine area. As you can see by the particles, this is affecting a much wider part of the farm and allowing me to help these crops grow from all the way over here. So even while circling around the whole farm, I've already been able to grow some wood essence, which you can see here, and I even got another pair of wood seeds, some stone essence, and more of the inferior essence that's so, so absolutely vital to this mod pack. And this mod grows in a lot of ways, too. It's a very, very broad mod, and later as you get into it, it can be very helpful, because you have diamond seeds, you can grow dye. These will allow you to make almost any color of dye. You can see here, it turns into all kinds of different things. Uh, there's blaze rod seeds and even nether star seeds, which are the most expensive. But just like anything, once you actually have the seed, you're able to just plant it and grow. And that's one of the amazing things about this mod, is the fact that you just take your seeds, do the hard work to earn them, and just start growing yourself some amazing resources. Like I mentioned with the watering cans, there are all kinds of other things you can do though. For instance, here's some of those plants I just showed you. Here's a fully matured diamond seed, a fully matured dye seed, a blaze seed, and even a nether star seed. But you can actually take things and make one of these. It's called an ultimate furnace. It has a 9,001% efficiency over normal furnaces, and that's very obvious. You can see that I gave myself 
a full stack of gold ore, a full stack of iron ore, and one coal. And that's because with this, that's all you need. Now bear in mind, this takes Inferium Plus. That's Supremium. It takes all the way to Supremium to make this furnace here. But once you have it, putting things in a furnace is a uh, trouble of the past. Because it will melt through absolutely everything you have in no time flat. Look, I even have time to pause between doing a full stack of iron and then go ahead and start that full stack of gold. No problem at all, plenty of fuel left to burn. So these are just some of the things that you're going to get out of mystical agriculture. Obviously, there's all kinds of different seeds you can do. You can grow almost every resource imaginable. And it's honestly very worth it. I've been using this mod for a long time in my mod packs, and it grows a lot of the stuff that we use pretty constantly throughout all of our playthroughs, whether it's a rare material that you've had trouble finding in the mines, or you just are tired of chopping down logs and wanted to make that process a little simpler. Mystical agriculture is a great way to get around to it. Either way, I hope that this really helped you out. If you'd like to learn anything else about modded Minecraft, please let us know. We're dipping our feet into the modded Minecraft community, and we're really trying to help teach people how to enjoy these mods, and how to grow in servers more quickly and get past that awkward starting phase. Either way, again, I'm Dandy with Key Smash Studios. If you like what you saw, please subscribe uh, and comment and leave a like on the video. It helps small channels like us a whole ton. And again, thank you for stopping by and have a beautiful day. Bye-bye.